among all the protein breads available, how to select one which will give the lowest sugar spike? Well, I look for two things. First, protein. It has to be a lot higher compared to regular white bread. It can't just be a little bit more. See, normal white bread has about 7 grams of protein per 100 grams. And what I look for are breads that have 20 grams of protein per 100 grams. Three times more. Like the super protein bread from the health factory. And number two, the main flour used, which by the way is always the first ingredient that is mentioned. It ideally should not be refined wheat flour. Because that's just another name for maida, which has a very high glycemic index. Whole wheat flour or atta is much better. And when both these conditions are met, the sugar spike should be much lower compared to white bread. Let's confirm it. By the way, these protein breads taste just like regular bread. That way, it's an easy switch. Okay, let's see what my glucose monitor says. Only 17 mg increase? Look at that. For comparison, two pieces of white bread toast made with the same 10 grams of butter had given me a 42 mg increase. This is less than half. This happened because the protein content in the bread was a lot higher compared to regular white bread. In fact, it was one full egg worth of protein more. And as we've seen, protein does tend to slow down the digestion of food, leading to lower sugar spikes.